Underwater action at the local pond. We we'll headed out to Kroger Park, our local pond, and uh, brought the Water Wolf camera just to check things out. We start out with the Tenkara fly, the Marilyn Monroe, and the pink, and in this, kind, in this case, a gray hackle fly, or a uh, hackle feather. And uh, we're just kind of playing around, uh, just checking out things, see how things are, are doing. And sure enough, we see a lot of the uh, bluegill hanging around the area. Uh, ended up catching about, uh, oh, about 10 of these uh, in a mix of the Tinkara fly as well as um, adding some bread to the uh, to the bait or to the hook and hooked into some of these guys. And you can see that there's some really nice looking ones in the mix as well as uh, just your normal size ones. And of course, we did have to contend with uh, the turtles. This is one of them. I think we had about three or four playing around with our baits. And you can see where this one's going to come by and have a look. And luckily, he... Uh, uh, opted not to uh, take our fly. So uh, overall, had a great time just uh, checking things out. And here you can give it a good idea of what happens when one takes the line, and uh, we get them on the line, and or takes the hook, and we get them on the on the line, and ended up getting this guy in. Pretty fun stuff overall. And then uh, I think this next one will be just a bunch of these guys just checking out our our um, uh, bait. This one's going to take the bait, kick it out, and then another one will do the same thing and gives you a good idea of um, how quick the fish can uh, hit your, your uh, lure or bait and uh, spit it out without getting hooked. So as again, it was mainly bluegill that uh, we saw. We did see a couple of bass and those turtles, and uh, I think uh, this clip here will shift over to uh, a near deer that we were um, fishing and in this case we're just slowly dragging it along the uh, bottom and you'll see a bluegill go by and then a nice bass take a look at it. The uh, near deer is about an inch and a half so that gives you an idea how big uh, the uh, bass is. It'll kind of fade to the back here and then uh, it'll come back again off to the left of the screen, upper left coming in. It'll take a look at it and then this next one that follows uh, will definitely be bigger than this uh, this one right here. And again, that uh, near deer is about an inch and a half, so uh, get an idea that uh, these are probably some good-sized uh, bass. All right, so next time we'll catch you all later, and good luck and good fishing.